So we're going to we're going to go through this quest with Madeline, and then we're going to pick out our first horse. And when you go to the auction house for the first time, you can stay there for hours. The very first time, if you want to find the right horse, you can stay there for three hours, and they will just keep shuffling horses. Madeline has her own shop, and what she sells is the amount of horses available at the auction house. She does not sell the higher tiers. So you start off with wild horses, common horses, um, rare horses, legendary horses. She does not sell the access to those tiers. She sells the amount of horses. You might start off, I think it's 10. Uh, after you've, your first foyer into it, I think it's 10, and then it can go up to 20, etc. That's what she sells. Do not spend money on that unless you absolutely want to and you have it to spare. Early game, ignore that. Bulky Fury, <laughs> the names. So we've got 19 speed, 18 endurance, 9 jump, and 16 flex, and 58 potential. That's And look at his price. The higher the stats, this is another thing, the higher the stats, the higher the price of the horses are. We have $5,000. This horse is $4,000. He's got pretty good stats and pretty good potential. So um, whether you're looking for color or whether you're looking for stats, that's something to keep in mind. Okay, so left all, so these are the two ways to control your horse, and you can use either way, whichever is more comfortable for you. Right now, this is my mouse moving the horse, and what this, this is telling you is you can hit the left alt button on your keyboard, I'm not sure what it is on controller, so you hit the left button and now you have a free camera, but you're going to use, see, it says use A and D to control the reins while moving the camera. So if I press W, I'm still going to walk forward but then I'm going to use the A and D and the S keys to do this. And a lot of people do this. this is, they prefer this because they want the free camera. And you, well, this also lets you take really good screenshots too. Um, but a lot of people like to do their, their competitions this way, their jumping competitions. I find it really hard for me. So stop. <laughs> So um, just like this says, I hit the left alt button again, and now look, my mouse is the one controlling it. So anytime I move my mouse, for me, that's just easier. One good way, uh, there is another thing that you have to do. If you look at your horse here, so this trust, right now we're at zero trust. I don't know if you can see that. So the way to build a bond with your horse, spending time with them, winning competitions, giving them treats, using a soft brush that you can buy at George's, which we can't afford right at this particular point, and leading them. <clears throat> so if you put the halter back on, so if I go out of this, I put the halter on and I lead them around while I'm looking for forageables, that will also give you a small amount of trust. And at any time of the day or night, our, the characters don't sleep. So if it's 7 o'clock and George isn't in his shop but you want to sell him something, Go to his house, walk into his house, boom, you can you can find him. And you can basically sell, you don't have to sell it to George. If you want to just sell things, any of the NPCs, you can sell things to. Madeline, River, uh, Aisha, Liam, George, any of them. You don't have to sell everything just to George. Um, but each one sells different things, so you have to be aware of that. Like, if you're looking for seeds, you're not going to find them at George. you got to go to Aisha and Lupine Meadow. I'm going to say it again. It's a grindy game. It's a slow progress to, to open up all the things. But if you want to just chill and relax and not stress over it, this is the way to do it. Yes, the, um, the uh, races can be kind of stressful. If they're too stressful, put it on story mode. And that is another thing. If you go into settings, you can do normal mode or story mode. Um, and story mode will auto-complete all the race quests for you. If you want to do the race quests, that's fine. You can switch in and out however often you want. This is your round pen, which is not in use yet. And this was where your covered arena will be. It's broken down. Both of these are broken down, so you'll have to replace them. And that's another thing. At the moment in the game, this is another tip. In the, at the moment, this this structure, the covered arena, does not have any impact on your gameplay. It's beautiful, 
it, it's lovely, but there isn't really weather in the game at this moment. There will be later on. So you don't have to worry about spending the $255,000 to build this arena when it's not going to serve any purpose at the moment. If you have the money and you want to do it, great. But for early game, don't worry about it. Do not worry about it. Um, and there's nothing you can do with the uh, round pen at the moment anyway. That is going to be probably early 2024 before that's going to be in use. And I don't know when weather is actually planned for the game. But just as, a, as an aside, you know, those will come into effect. There will be a time when she does put weather in the game and she does put um, horse sickness in the game sometime in 2024. <clears throat> when the weather is bad, you will need to train your horse in the arena, in the covered arena, not in the outdoor arena. Because if your horse gets sick, they can't compete, they can't be sold, they can't be bred. And that's your money. And the other thing, if you did not know that was implemented in the last update, we used to be able to leave our horses out in the pasture to avoid cleaning the stalls and stuff like that, wasting time. Well, that, that's kind of gone by the wayside because all that potential that your horse has will start to tick down by one point every night you leave them out in the pasture. Ah, another thing. This board, Eloise added this board. So you hit E to interact with it. And it tells you, it, usually it'll list all your horses. So if you click on Bulky Fury, it tells you what stall he's in. You can change his stall. If he's in the pasture and you click on this, you should be able to send him to the stable. If he's in the stable from this board, you can send him to the pasture or you can go into his stall, hit F, and then on the left side, it'll say send to pasture and you can boom, send him right to the pasture. So you don't have to go out to the pasture to catch your horse. You can, hopefully, unless there's a bug, go right to this board, which is right on the inside of your barn and click it, click on the horse, and click send to stable. And you, you're done. <clears throat> so this is our charming little house. And at some point we will be able to decorate, but not right now. See, this is where all our farm fields are going to be up there. And this is our little house with a little fire, or fireplace. This is your dresser. And it goes you right back to this, and you can change your hairstyle, your eye color, your clothes every single day if you want. Any new quests you get will happen the minute you open the door. So you don't have to go around and hunt everybody down to get a new quest. The, if you have a new quest coming, the minute you open the door and it blacks out, you've got a quest. And it looks like because you haven't opened these that you can't get those forgeables, but yes, you can. You can just jump right over. Typically, your horse is not supposed to do that. If your horse gets stuck on this side of the fence and you cannot pull him back, go to the stable board and two ways. Go to the stable board, try and send him to stable. Or come into the pasture with him and try and get on him, try and ride him. Either of those two methods should unstick you. I don't believe, uh, if you want to know your inventory, hit map. So this will tell you all of the produce that you have, all of the equipment that you have, the tools. So we have a pitchfork and a brush. Oh, and we do have seeds. So I will show you since we have no energy bar. <laughs> if you run up here, as you run up to your house, it's to the right. If you're coming out of your house, it's to the left. <clears throat> so these are your four or your six uh, plots that you start with. So you can see over there, there's room for more, and then across the way there's room for more, and then the rest will be that way. So you hit R to interact with it. So I've got orchard grass seeds, and even though I don't want to feed my horse this, you can grow it and sell it. So you plant, and it gives you spring, summer, autumn. We're in, I believe we're in spring. Yeah, we're in spring. You can plant out of season, but uh, you have to have the shield fertilizer from Aisha, and it's kind of pricey, in order to do that. It's worth it. Whoops. It's worth it because um, your crop, it, like if let's say we're at the end of summer, we're going into fall, and my crop is only growable in spring and summer, if, if I've put the shield fertilizer on it when it churns over to fall or even to winter, they're not going to die. If I have not put the shield fertilizer on it, and you turn over from summer to fall and your crop is only spring or summer, 
it's going to die. Your crops will be gone. You will have lost whatever you spent doing that. And you can get seeds either from harvesting in the wild, like foraging. You can get carrot seeds or orchard grass seeds or any of the other seeds occasionally from uh, doing that. Or you can buy them all from Aisha. Okay, so for right now, that is all I have on getting started with Rancho Rivershine. Um, if you like this, uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you want me to do more of a video like this again, please let me know again. And um, I will see you next time. And uh, thank you so much for stopping by. And I look forward to seeing you around.